In this video, I'm going to show you the tools you have available and the options you have while you're running a presentation live. Before I do that, I want to show you the difference between running on one monitor or two. At the moment, I'm just using a laptop. There isn't a second monitor currently plugged in. And if we look at monitor just at the top here, it says automatic or primary monitor. That's actually one of the same thing at this point. In a minute, when we plug the second monitor in, it will have the second monitor also on this list to be available. Over on the left-hand side of this toolbar, we're currently on the slideshow tab. You can run the show from the beginning or from the current slide. So let's just run this one from the beginning. Don't forget this is running on one monitor only. So I go through, it's consumed my whole monitor here. It's taken over the whole thing. And as I go through here, I can run my presentation. So I have no other choice but to run it through in the order that the audience sees it. I've got no behind the scenes stuff I can use, no little tricks I can use to get from one place to another. What they see is what I see. So let's escape to cancel that. That's running it on one monitor. Let me quickly plug in a second monitor. Okay, so we now have two monitors available. If I go to monitor here, it now says primary monitor, which is my laptop, or the second monitor, which is my big BenQ screen. And if I now run the slideshow from the beginning again, my second screen is now showing what the audience sees, but my primary screen, which is what you're looking at here, is what I see, or whoever's controlling the presentation sees. And there's quite a lot of tools available in here for us to start using. So down the bottom, it says slide one of 10. And there's two arrows there, left and right, to enable you to get to the next slide or go back a slide. Over here, we have a few tools just underneath the main slide there. So the first one is the pen and laser pointer tools. When we click on this, it gives us a little menu. Now don't forget the audience doesn't see this. So you can prepare this ahead of time. Let's start with a pen. This gives us a little pen we can start using to draw some stuff. So you might wanna loop, around certain things, draw arrows to things, all those kind of things. The laser pointer, in comparison, does this. Gives you like a virtual laser pointer. Now, the audience sees all of this. So all the stuff on the main slide here is what the audience is seeing. So because this is controlled by the mouse, or if you're walking around the stage by a remote device, you've got quite accurate control over where this sits. And it doesn't wobble like a regular laser pointer does. If you want to use a highlighter pen, that's also available on here. The default color for a highlighter is yellow, but you can change the color to other colors there. So on the options here, there's all sorts of stuff here for ink colors for any of the pens that you choose here. If you make a complete stuff up or you just want to reset the slide, you can use the eraser. Now this will go through one at a time and erase different bits that you've drawn on your slide. If you want to erase the whole lot, just go back to a clean slate, choose the erase all ink on slide option. So now we're back to where we started on this slide. Over on the right hand side, we see the next slide in the sequence. So after this one's dealt with, this is the next one in the sequence. We also have some speaker notes that belong to this slide we're currently looking at. So if you lose your way or you just need to check whether you've covered everything off before you move on, your speaker notes are here for that purpose in a live presentation. This icon over here lets you show a different view which shows all of your slides in your slide deck. So we're currently on slide one. You can see the red border around that. So if you wanna jump a few slides and go maybe straight to this slide over here, as soon as I click on this, this is now what the audience sees. Now it's actually advanced pretty quickly because of the timings we had set on there, but under normal circumstances, in a live presentation, you wouldn't have timings. Now let's just go back to slide one. This one doesn't have any timings and it won't advance on us. Down the bottom here, we have a magnifying glass. And this lets us zoom in at double size on any portion of the screen. So when I click, you get this little thing here which you can move around. And let's say I click on this little section here, it goes double the size in both directions. And this is what the audience sees. Let's click the magnifying glass again. It takes it back to normal size. This icon here switches the screen to a plain black screen. So this is used if you're presenting to an audience and you see that everyone's looking over your shoulder and reading the slide behind you, or they're getting distracted with something else. If you display a plain black screen, they have no option but to put their attention back on you. It's a little presenter's trick. It's quite an old one. You can click this on again at any time, to re-display the presentation. The three dots here, the ellipses, this gives you more slide options, which are these. So if you need to jump around to any particular place in the presentation, you can either go to the last view, and you might think that's a bit obvious, you know, go to the previous slide, but you know how before I showed you how to jump from slide one to slide eight? Well, the last view in that case, would then jump back to slide one. You can also switch to a custom show. We have two custom shows in play here. We can choose either one of those and start running that instead. If you want to hide the presenter view, this throws you back to PowerPoint, 
but the actual show is still running, so the audience is still seeing the last slide that was selected. But this lets you go back and make any little changes that you want to make. So if you've discovered a typo in the upcoming slide and you're quick, you can go back to this view and quickly change it. And then when you go back to your live show, the correct spelling will show for the audience. Now, continuing on with these options here, we then have screen and it gives you the options of black screen or white screen. Now, what we did before with this icon, it defaults to black. But when you choose screen here, you can also go white screen. So a plain white screen for the audience to look at rather than looking over your shoulder and not listening to you. Again, you can click this option to go back at any point or just click the icon down here, which will also switch it back. The display settings option here lets you switch your two monitors over. If you want to put the screen that the audience sees on your laptop and the other one have the big screen as your control panel, you can swap it over here. If you just want to duplicate the slideshow, as in show what the audience sees on both screens, you can do that here as well. So that's used where maybe you're facing an audience with the screen behind you and you've got the laptop in front of you. So what you see is what the audience sees. And then the last option is the end slideshow. So at any point you can do this and it just goes back to your PowerPoint. So that's all the tools you need to run a live presentation.